I was scammed. Well, not technically I wasn't scammed, but the other day I decided, you know what, let me play some more Tekken 8. I've been enjoying the game, been playing a ton of it. I'm like the Garu rank, however you say this, Gar? I don't know how you're supposed to say that. I do pretty good at the game, you know, not the best, not the worst. I don't know, what is this, average? Maybe slightly above average, who knows? <laughs> Maybe below average. But I saw on April 1st, at first I thought this was like, <laughs> an april fool's character like oh this character is not actually coming out we just put a lot of time and effort into this april fool's prank because you know april 1st but no eddie gordo was coming out and he is an actual playable character in tekken 8 i thought hey man they're bringing back gordy maybe not today but i i guess they had other plans and i was in a call with cosby whenever he said no this <laughs> this is real whenever i first saw it, and i thought it was fake let me play that little clip for you right here. I hate that it puts so much effort into this fucking April Fool's prank on Tekken. <laughs> Nigga, Cosby. Hello. What's the prank? What's yeah. the prank? Because you know what? Uh, the niggas uh, in the thing is Cosby uh, on the main menu, right? Well, I'll show you. Yeah. There you go. They, they made a whole nigga. <laughs> Look. <laughs> They just, they made a whole Oh, oh nigga. he's in the game now? <laughs> Bro, no, it's an oh, April it was a Fool. Joke. It was a joke. <laughs> yes. Eddie, whatever. Oh, Eddie he was never... Gordo, he was never, he's never coming in. <laughs> oh, okay. Bro, I, I, I thought it was real too. Me too. That's how about that's how I was trying to say straight. They put Lucio in the game. Yeah, bro. <laughs> they put Lucio in the game. He was doing all them kicks and shit in the in the video. Do you remember? Wait, there's a video? Yeah, it's a YouTube. I didn't see this shit. I only saw a YouTube video of this nigga. So this is a joke? I think so. Wait, is this real? Bro, it's a whole YouTube video of him fighting. And them saying they bring him into the game. What the hell? Bro, go to YouTube. Eddie it's Eddie Gordo. <laughs> I feel like I've seen it before. I feel like I've seen it before April 1st. This would be crazy if it was. I see why I'm trying to stay with it. And they were saying, they're talking about his hairstyle. They was like, yeah, good thing they bring him into the game. Why they gave him their hairstyle? Oh, so the comments looking Gordo. legit. With the playable character year one pass on April 1st. Oh, wait, what? Wait, is it not a joke? Wait, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait, this battle pass is what? Really? You know what? I'm about to buy this shit. I've been playing this shit at Tekken. Yeah. Man, what do you mean? I want to play should... like... What? They over there saying, you sure you don't want some stocks, young man? You giving us a considerable amount of money. money. <laughs> <laughs> you sure you just don't want some stocks? Hey, we'll let you sit okay. on the board. <laughs> we'll let you even sit on the board. <laughs> yeah, dude. So that went through, and I decided to buy the Battle Pass because... In most games, Overwatch, actually in Overwatch Season 10, they're actually going away with this. Siege, like a ton of games. Whenever you buy the Battle Pass and a new character comes out that you actually have to pay for, typically they put the new character in the Battle Pass because, duh, that, that makes the most amount of sense. Am I paying $10? Well, technically the Battle Pass is five, but you can't get enough coins paying four bucks or five bucks for it. So you have to pay $10 to get this Battle Pass. So if I'm going to be paying $10 for the Tekken 8 Season 1 Pass, I would have expected that Eddie Gordo would have been in it. I literally would have expected Eddie Gordo to be in the Tekken 8 Season Pass, but he wasn't because there is another Season Pass. Yes. <laughs> Bandai Namco, the poor billion dollar company, decided to not make one battle pass, but two. One is strictly cosmetic, all right? This doesn't affect the game at all. You get all the pretty little costumes. I didn't know. Growing up, I, you know, grew up with this context clues things. It's this one thing that I've used throughout my life is context clues. Every other game has a battle pass and whenever they have new characters come out and they want you to pay for it, they typically put it in the battle pass because the battle pass is gonna cost the same amount as the character. And for the most part, the character is the main part of the battle pass. If there isn't a character in some battle passes, they probably don't sell too well so in my deluded state of thinking i was like yo 
I'ma buy the Battle Pass, I'ma get Eddie Gordo, I'ma stream it for my boy Cosby, we're gonna have some fun talking about this new guy, and I was sadly disappointed. I didn't get Eddie Gordo. But I thought people only got to play it a couple days early because they got, I don't know, the special deluxe ultimate edition of Tekken 8. So I was like, oh, well, I'll just wait till April 4th, which was yesterday. And then I will play Eddie Gordo because obviously I own the battle pass. Obviously I have Eddie Gordo. I don't need to do much research into it. I just have to be patient and not pay an extra five bucks to play him a few days early. But that's not how this worked. I got on today. I was like, you know what, before I do my work, I want to play some Eddie Gordo. I'm going to get on. I'm going to play some Eddie Gordo. I'm going to rage my ass off. And then I'm going to get off, do my work for the day, and then probably get on some more Eddie Gordo or just play some more King or Yoshi. But that's not how this morning went. I got on. It's April 5th. Eddie's out for everyone. I should be able to play him. I own the battle pass. The $10 battle pass, by the way. It's not $5. This is misleading. You have to pay $10 to get this battle pass. I have the $10 battle pass. The amount of money it should cost to play Eddie Gordo, even though he's technically doesn't cost that much money. If you actually, you know, look around and actually think about like how you're trying to spend your money in game and you actually want to find out the perfect way there is an optimal way to get this one character in the game that you cannot get in the shop you cannot get it in the battle pass you have to go outside of the game into the storefront like steam xbox marketplace or whatever they call it or playstation if you use egs i don't even know if Tekken is even on that if it's on egs it's on egs and you have to go in there Type in Eddie Gordo's name. Yes, type in his name. And then pay for him. He's $8. I'm so pissed. This man is $8. And I spent 10 on this trash battle pass. There's nothing in here I want. These cosmetics are garbage. None of them are good at all. There, I haven't seen one where I was like, ooh, I actually might want to use that. And a lot of them are for this stupid avatar. But again, Eddie Gordo is $8 as a quote-unquote DLC, even though I paid $70 for Tekken 8. And then, not only that, I paid $7 for Tekken 8, and they gave me 32 characters, essentially in their eyes, for free, because the only thing that should come with Tekken 8 is just the maps. <laughs> You should pay $8 individually for each character, but they were gracious enough over there at Bandai Namco to give us those 32 characters free. So, on top of the game being 80 bucks, and then I got scammed by Bandai Namco thinking that obviously Eddie Gordo would be in the Battle Pass and the people that bought the Deluxe Edition got to play him early. Nope. I got scammed because not only is he not in the battle pass, I also can't buy him in the store. I also have to go outside of the store to Steam to buy this one character for $8 in my $70 game. At least Overwatch 2 went free to play. That's all I have to say. At least they went free to play before they pulled this BS. And at least the battle pass made sense. Like $10 for a battle pass plus a hero? I think that was a garbage move from Activision Blizzard. But at the end of the day, at least it made sense. Bro, who the hell is out here thinking, oh man, I gotta get the new character today. <laughs> Obviously I can't buy him in the game because that would just make too much sense. Buying the character in the game, that's so new. Like who, who would think of like buying the character in the game you're playing? No one would ever think about that. Who would think the battle pass? would have the character even though at this point it's kind of a ubiquitous thing like everyone that has characters in their games you usually buy them in the battle pass that's usually the one of the only ways you can get them and i'm just sitting here thinking to myself am i dumb like don't get me wrong i'm not a whale for games but i obviously understand that if i want to play some things in games i have to pay for it right like i can scream to the high heavens i can't believe that they would charge me for this but i understand at some point unless there's some legislation changed i have to pay for it if i want to play eddie gordo i have to pay for it and you know what i don't mind paying for it. i don't like it 
Don't get me wrong. I don't like it. I'd rather go back to the old ways of, hey, here's a expansion pass where you get, like, another 32 characters and 80 different maps, but we're no longer there, all right? I was willing to give them more money than what the character actually costs because I wasn't buying this battle pass for the cosmetics. I was buying this battle pass for Eddie Gordo. <laughs> and I'm sitting here thinking, how stupid am I? Just because every other game does this, doesn't mean Tekken 8 does this. And then I realized Tekken 8's dumb because I'm not buying Eddie Gordo. I don't want him anymore. All right, I bought the battle pass and he wasn't in it. And now I'm just sitting here twiddling my thumbs thinking, should I add another $8 to this blunder? And then I realized, no, because that's exactly what they wanted me to do. They wanted me to be confused, buy the battle pass, and then realize I have to either buy a $40 character pack, which comes with four characters, and technically you get them cheaper as $8 if you buy them separately. But still, that's so dumb. Who does that? Like, who does that? So now I'm just sitting here. I realized I'm not buying Eddie Gordo, all right? I'm not buying whoever else is coming out. I'm not buying any of them. I'm not buying any more battle passes. The $70, technically $80 now, that Bandai Namco got from me is it. That's as much money as I'm willing to give them now for Tekken 8. The game is great. It's beautiful. I enjoy playing it. It has so many great mechanics. It is a breath of literal fresh air that they shit on with their horrible monetization practices that actually lost them a customer. I was a customer. I was like, yo, Eddie Gordo, I'm willing to pay you $2 more for this man. <laughs> and they said, no. You see, you have to pay $8 for him or buy the $40 battle pass that has only four characters in it. They're not getting my money, all right? End of the story. They're not getting my money. I'm not buying any of the DLC characters. I'm not done with Tekken 8. Obviously, I'm going to continue playing. I paid $80 for this bitch. I'm playing the shit out of this game. I'm breaking controllers to this game, all right? I need to get at least two to three <laughs> broken controllers out of this game before I'm done with Tekken 8. But again... Horrible monetization practices. Yo, think about, like, the money you would make if you just put the character in the battle pass. Why is he not in the battle pass? Why is Eddie Gordo not in the battle pass? Please, someone make this make sense. Anybody that's not even, like, following Tekken 8 that closely, but actually likes the game, would think he would be in the battle pass. But he's in a totally separate, cut off from the game, you gotta go find it battle pass. And he's the only thing that you would really want to buy in this game with real world money. Boys, please, tell me in the comments down below. Am I stupid? Do I need to go to the doctor? Is, is me using context clues of many other games use this same system of putting the characters in the battle pass? Is that just a dumb thing for me to think of? Or am I correct in saying that Tekken probably lost a ton, and I mean a ton of customers, to this trash battle pass that no one wants? There's nothing in it. There's literally nothing in it. It's garbage. And we all got scammed. Anyone that bought it got scammed. None of us knew what was in here. We all thought Eddie Gordo was going to be in this battle pass, but then <laughs> he wasn't. He's in a totally different battle pass that you got to pay $40 for <laughs> or buy him individually for eight bucks, which I would be fine with if I knew beforehand, but they gave you no information beforehand saying, Yo, you gotta go to Steam to buy them. Just letting you know, they did none of that. They sold us a battle pass knowing that we all would be confused at what was in it. But boys, tell me in the comments all below. How do you guys feel about this? What, what do you guys think? <laughs> Am I stupid or is Bandai Namco one of the worst companies known to mankind? Also, the Tekken 8 director, Harada, came out to speak about this in a tweet, <laughs> of course. Watch this short right here to find out what he talked about. 